Oh, hey, what's up? So, on the geeky side of all this, I've been asked how this COPA thing is going to affect everybody. Oh my god, is this channel going to be there? Is that channel going to be there? Ooh, and as you know, this channel is not for kids. We do have cookies, though. So come to the dark side. I'll explain to you what cookies has to do with YouTube and kids. Night falls. Pestilence. It's dense to the air. Who will save you? Hello, and welcome to the Freak Show. I'm your host of the most, of course, Big Day right now. I know it's been a couple days since Uncle Dusty visited, and I ain't been here for a while, but everybody keeps asking me, cope with this and cope with that, and I made a video saying this channel wasn't for kids. My channel's not for kids. I have some of my nieces and nephews, and I ain't gonna say nothing on this channel that I wouldn't say in front of them or in front of their parents. I try not to, anyway. My kids, I'm, my channel's not for kids. It's not, not here. It's not made for kids. I, most kids I know don't ride motorcycles. And the ones that do are mature enough that they can handle the content I have on this channel. So, getting back to the dark side. Uh, I gotta pull my pants leg down. Oh, I got them ashy legs, man. Uncle Dusty warned me about. Anyway, uh, you know, on the, uh, I talked about the dark web. It's the internet itself dark enough. The dark web's dark. In the case of the dark web, most dark websites don't keep cookies. You go, cookies? What are these cookies you speak of, sir? A cookie is nothing more than a text file. When you hook to the internet, you go into your browser, whether it be Safari, whether it be Firefox, whether it be Google Chrome, and it talks to another computer. And the very first thing it does is it says, hey, I need this website. So it sends a text file to you. It's nothing more than a simple text file. And the text file is in an HTML language. Well, and it says, okay, well, you need to log in. Are you a member of our website, this and that? So instead of having to log in every time and put all your information every time, it keeps another separate text file called a cookie. And what that is, is the variables. In computer language, it's the variables. It might be username. Are you logged in? Are you a user? Uh, what information have you entered into forms before? That is a cookie. I think it's ironic because most of the dark web, especially with the Onion browser, does not allow cookies. But our great internet, our World Wide Web, has cookies. I ask you, is that not the dark side? They have the cookies. Just saying. But anyway, so what's this got to do with kids and COPA and all this? The COPA Act, in order to keep kids safe, a lot of online predators want to know, you know, they don't want to. If people don't know what you got, they don't know to come and take it from you. They want to know where these kids are, what time these kids are online, maybe their physical address, maybe what school they go to, so they can prey on these children. Well, the government said back in the 90s, I don't know the exact date, I'm not, you know, I study history, not internet history that much, but back in the 90s, they passed a law saying that if a child was 13 or under, you could not track them through cookies makes sense that way because you can it's easy to get your hands on the cookies if you intercept traffic or you know they go into a comment section on youtube and go well my name is little betty boop and i live at 147 you know tennessee avenue blah 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 and my parents work late night and i'm home alone till three in the morning First of all, you need to be a parent. Don't let your kids be on the computer. If you're working out late, make sure somebody's there with them and knows that they're not on the computer, tablet, phone, or whatever. Unplug your freaking router so they can't get on the internet. You know, there's all kinds of things that you can do. But, you know, they're just trying to keep kids safe. Everybody goes, I'm going to lose my channel because, okay, you're a 40 year old dude living among a bunch of dogs. Yes, G.I. Joe's are dogs. Uh, I've got them. I mean, I've got them up here. Minor Hellraiser. You know, I love Pinhead. I love Wes, uh, Wes Craven. Or Clyde Barker. Or even, you know, Stephen King. And when I look at them, yeah, I couldn't afford them when I was a kid. So I found some and I collect stuff like that. I don't go flashing around. I don't have, I ain't spent my whole paycheck on a bunch of dolls. I've got other things to do. But, I mean, for different folks, if that's your thing, to go out and buy 
robots or dolls or motorcycles. Everybody has a different stroke for different folks. As long as it ain't interfering with some kid. The reason they're trying to do all this and the reason everybody's making a big stink out of it is because they go, but, 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 I'll lose my thing. Okay, if you're spending your whole paycheck on whatever you're spending on and you're making your money on so YouTube, you might need to get some financial advice. You might need to speak to somebody, maybe even, uh, you know, a psychiatrist or somebody. You need to speak to somebody. If your whole thing is YouTube, I understand people like to make content and, you know, there's channels on here where parents that's how they interact with their kids they'll have their kids on there they'll take things apart so this is how it works and it's kind of educational i mean you just got to think what your motivation behind it is if your motivation is to find information on children who are home alone or to you know track a kid any of that you don't yeah you shouldn't even be on here somebody needs to beat you up and take your candy but that's what it's all about. Are they going to, I mean, you know how much money it would involve them prosecuting and taking down all these channels? And if the channels start popping down, it won't be the government doing it. As much as I like to say yes and believe in the conspiracies. It's going to be YouTube doing it to save their butt. They just had to pay like $147 billion or something. It's going to be them saving their butt. I mean, you know. Little girls like to play makeup. They're going to get on here and watch some, like, PewDiePie or some of these other channels. And, you know, I don't know if PewDiePie is the right one that does the thing. I don't watch, you know, videos like that. I ain't into makeup. I should be. But as pretty as I am, who needs to be? Anyway, you know, and they do get on here. That goes back to the responsibility. You know, just like back in the day. Turn the TV off. Unplug the internet. Take the phones away. Why the hell does a six-year-old need their own phone anyway? If they do have a phone for emergency reasons, why can they get on the internet and look at porn? Why are you allowing the big world? They will have the big world in their face all their life. Why are you allowing them to come through the door whenever you hold the key? Just my opinion. You're the one letting them go to the dark side. You're the one letting them get in the van with the stranger with the candy. Yeah. Hey, man, I like the 18, man. Was that considered a creeper van? Hmm. Leave me a comment. Let me know. You think the 18 van was a creeper van? If you seen the 18 van in your neighborhood, would you be worried about your kids? Hmm. Then again, I'm the kind of guy, I thought my kids growing up that Santa Claus wasn't real. What? Yeah. If a guy in a red suit, a fat freak, comes sliding in our chimney, first of all, we got a problem because we ain't got no damn chimney. Second of all, He's coming to take something, and it ain't going to be my candy. I'm going to light his ass up. If that fire don't burn him, I'm going to. They don't make rocks all like they used to, by God. Either way, I was asked, so there's my opinion, and that's what we're doing and the way we're doing it. Get out there and live. Laugh. Love a little bit. See this big old world. Until next time. Like and subscribe. Yeah, hit that bell so you can tell when we are here.